Hello everyone, are you well? So if memory serves me correct, last year I did Aliens Invading the North Pole for my Christmas video. I know, very un PC. Now, for this year's Christmas video, I found this guy, Freddy, dressed up as Santa. Perfect. Freddy is from the video game and film Five Nights at Freddy's. He's an evil animatronic bear. He's bad, dressed as Santa. Let's cue the title. And start scratching that build. I wanted to build something that represented Christmas, but with a slight twist. And I was thinking of making a spaceship as Freddy's chariot, but that would be too obvious. No, I had to tone it down and go simple. Why not let Freddy take over Christmas and let him be Santa for this year? So I decided to make him a sleigh. Now these bottles won't do as they're all too big. So it was time to dig deep and go into my bit box. Mr. Potato Head was looking the worst for wear and needed some DLC. Plus he had an opening that would be perfect for Freddy to sit in. It was as if it was meant to be. There was going to have to be some cosmetic surgery applied to Mr. Potato Head, so I quickly stripped him down to his outer shell and got to work. Firstly, a quick sand down of his outer shell, just to take away the shiny coat, ready for gluing the stuff on. These two empty vape pens will be the rails for underneath Mr. Potato Head. To attach everything together, I'm returning to an old trusty scratch builder's trick and using some wooden beads. To hide the holes in the vape pens, I'll just use some beads just to cover them up and to make them look more like rails than old vape pens. Once the rails were completed, it was then just a simple matter of sticking them onto Mr. Potato Head. This is EVA4, another crafter's delight, and very cheap to uh, come by. I'm going to use the foam to cover all the holes in Mr. Potato Head, and it's easier to shape around the curves than it would be if I was going to use cardstock. Now Freddy's going to need some sort of seat, so what I'm going to do is just put some um, of the EVA foam around the back of the, uh, the backrest chair whatever it is and just uh, put some more strips on just to make it look like it's some sort of seat i stayed away from using sticky gems as rivets and instead cut down uh, thin strips of the eva foam uh, into tiny little squares to use as rivets now santa's sleigh wouldn't be complete without a trailer packed with goodies for the kiddies so it's back into the bit box to see what i can find I'll use Mr. Potato's head's arms as the connectors to the sleigh. I felt the sleigh needed to be a bit wacky and a slightly sinister, since this is Freddy we're talking about here. To bulk out the trailer, I decided to make two rocket engines to slap either side of the trailer, uh, just to give it that sort of like visual interest, as they say. This old skeleton is going to be repurposed. Uh, I'm going to use the rib cage and legs for underneath the trailer. Now you won't see those, but I thought it would be fun just to include them. I stuck the rib cages on and then just attached the rockets. Then to make the sleigh and uh, trailer more personalized, I uh, cut out some EVA foam and attached Freddy's uh, initial onto them. Then it was more small rivets made out of the EVA foam and just went around all the panels and just riveted them up. For extra details, I used thin pieces of styrene to look like panels holding the wires onto the body of the sleigh. I cut into the EVA foam and used uh, hot glue just so I could attach the arm into the sleigh. Next, it was something I don't do enough of, it was onto the diorama. I chose to use 5mm foam board as it would be strong enough to hold the sleigh and the trailer together. I cheated a bit here because all I was doing was building the rooftop and not the actual house, so once it was all fashioned together, oh, oh, oh dear. 
Okay, so um, just talk amongst yourselves for a minute because my measurements are way out. As I was saying, once the roof was on, then it was on to making a chimney. Ninny, chimney. For the chimney, it's okay. I traded in my old teeth for a new set. Um, I'm going to use some XPS foam and just cut them down into chunks until I'm left with this lot. Now this on its own looks fine but I need to texture it so here comes my tumbler. So I'm going to put all these into there. I'm going to go into the garden and get some stones and I'm going to shake, rattle and roll. And if I shake, rattled and rolled like that I'd be here till Christmas 2024. Let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, that's much better. With my arms feeling like jelly and the XPX chunks battered and textured to perfection, they were ready to be stuck onto the side of the diorama. For speed, because it's cold here and using PVA glue would take ages to set, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to stick the chunks onto the base. Next came time for the tiles. Uh, there's two ways you can do this, one long and tedious, the other quick and painless. I, for some reason, chose tedious. Instead of cutting strips and then making cuts along the strip, I, for some unknown reason, cut out each individual tile just to stick them on the roof. It's okay, I'm going to have a word with myself about this later. There's the sleigh in position. Now I had to cut out a little bit of the roof so it would sit properly, but that's okay. To get rid of the wisps of um, hot glue, I just used a lighter and just quickly went around them and they just sort of fizzled away. Um, that's the easiest way I can think of to get rid of uh, glue wisps, if that is such a word. Then it was on to building the last of the chimney. Uh, I'm going to do it so it's like uh, the sleigh has crashed into the chimney and things are flying off it. So I'm just going to be hot gluing little bits and pieces of the XPS foam um, around it so it looks like it's sort of like in motion. Once that was done it was on to painting the roof. So I decided to paint it blue for no other reason than uh, once I've got all the um, different weathering bits on it'll look kind of weathered and um, like a roof usually does you go outside and check your roof tell me it looks pristine I bet it doesn't next was the chimney just gonna hit that with some grey uh, and then I'll go back once it's dry and do some weathering on it just to make it look a bit more older and uh, weather worn and I'll apply a black wash which uh, didn't turn out too good. It didn't um, make it as dark. I put a few coats on, but still didn't look as good. So that's why I go back in later on with the airbrush just to um, dirty it up a little bit more. I also did the roof with the same black wash since it was open and it would be rude not to use it. Then I used my weathering powder just to dirty up the roof a little bit more get some of those street lines in there some bird poo in there all that sort of stuff that's on your roof go ahead go check your roof i'm telling you it doesn't look as clean as you think it does then it was time to paint the sleigh and the trailer which was basically hot rod red and as you see a grown man struggle with his airbrush, I just want to say thank you very much to all my old subscribers that have been with me from the start and all the new subscribers that I've uh, got this year. Without you guys, this channel would have disappeared by now. So uh, thank you very much. Um, I've got some big plans for next year, some bigger builds, some smaller builds. I've got a lot of requests that uh, I'm getting round to. It's just that I'm trying to find the bits and pieces for it. So stick around because there's going to be some more spaceships, more Star Wars stuff, more different kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, just want to say thank you very much. I appreciate all your support and uh, yeah, have a happy Christmas everybody. 
I'm not sure if there'll be enough time to squeeze another video in before the new year so this might be the last one of 2023 and then I'll probably kickstart again early in January 2024 so um, until next time keep scratching that build everybody thanks for watching Oh, I almost forgot the presents. What I'm using for the presents is basically uh, from these junk box, uh, you get uh, little boxes of cartons of stuff um, and I'm just gonna throw them into the trailer. My thinking was Freddy's evil and these would be evil presents to get for Christmas. One more thing, go outside and check your roof. I guarantee it's dirty.